Hey there everybody, JB back with you once again for another episode of Trading Places. We are on level 61, Submerged World, and um, I actually have played through this level. I haven't solved it though, but I was spending about 20 minutes on it, and then a package I had been waiting for came in, and I was like, you know what, let's just restart the recording. I didn't really do a whole lot of consequence here. So this level is really interesting. Uh, so this first part, you basically have to synchronize all these balls. And it creates this, like, look at that. It creates this series of collisions where you can just slip right through there. Isn't that amazing? I, I love that. I think that is really neat. And then here you get some flippers, which it took me forever to figure that out because I was like, okay, what do I do? And I couldn't really, for some reason, it just didn't really register that I could do that. Also, that was really silly. I should have just waited to get all these chips until I was done with that. But anyway, this level uses the um, layout of Sinjo Ruins from Josh L7, which itself uses the world has turned and left me here from TS0. Josh really likes calling that set TSO, which every time I hear that name, I think of Trans-Siberian Orchestra. <laughs> Andrew Bennett, if you are um, in... If you're watching this Let's Play, I hope you appreciate that joke. Anyway, um, this room, you just have to... Whoops, I almost forgot to hold that down. You have to hold both of those down to get these. And then you need to do the thing that I kept forgetting to do, which is hit this button. For some reason, in like a bunch of the attempts I had made of this level, I had forgotten to do that. But at any rate, we're on to the next section, which... This is really interesting. You have to get... Um, this glider to hit the button, but then you all you then have to undo that and then hit um, the button yourself with a block, like hold it down with a block. I just think that's really fun. I don't know what it is about that whole premise, but I like levels where like you kind of have to switch what you're doing or have a second phase to what you're doing. As long as they're both really interesting. Oops, I forgot to go and open that. But yeah, this this was a really fun one. The other thing that was interesting was that uh, was the thing I got stuck on here actually, which was that you need to go and send this up here, which I did initially, but then I got so caught up in like obsessing over this whole idea of what needs to be holding down that tank button for the tanks at the end to switch, which is what's over there. And as it turns out, it's a lot simpler than I was expecting. It's just a matter of getting the fireballs here at the end to cooperate. So I think what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get this block supposed to get that but you're supposed to get this block to fill in that water space that's adjacent to like the lowest of the cloners and I think that should solve our issues as long as you put that there and then you just do this there we go And that's it. That was really fun. I It took me a little while to figure this one out, but honestly, I, I really enjoyed it. I don't know what my favorite of the three levels I'd use this layout is. I think it might be this one. Sinjo Ruins, I don't remember too much. I mean, I remember enjoying it, but uh, the world has turned and left me here. I feel like it, it's, it's very constrained. I know a lot of people enjoy it, but... It's very constrained, and then the very end is kind of a little bit tedious. I do like the the kind of ice slide matching puzzle in it, but the stuff in this level I just thought was way more interesting. All right, Ozone. So I believe this is a level based on the walls of the Woe Zone from um, Josh L7. 
and I'm gonna just check what's going on here before I do any more. I don't know if the trap buttons are supposed to be held down. Let me see what this says. All trap buttons connect to this trap. Okay, no, do not hit the trap buttons. So this is kind of like, um, oh, what is the name of that level from um, Walls of CCLP3? Sunshine Explosion, I think was the name of it. This kind of reminds me of that, but I think I'm going to like this a lot more. Like, this just looks more interesting. Okay, I'm nervous about pressing that, if that's just going to start cloning things like crazy. So I can clone two more, it looks like. Well, three. Four, actually. Or five. Let's try that. Ooh. Okay, don't do that again. I like how the outside has teleports. Kind of a, a nice nod to the original level. Okay, I don't know what the full consequences of that are going to be, so... Let's not pursue that any further. Let's try going this way. Okay, I can do two more at least. Okay, that's about as far as that's going to be taken. Yeah, I don't know really where to go next. This is, uh... Oh, whoa, 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 I forgot that was connected to that. I thought this was, like, connected up there. Okay, lesson learned. Don't do that again. Okay, so that's... That cloner is done. We, we're officially done with that. I feel like there's a lot of stuff here that we still have yet to really uncover. I'm also kind of worried that if I get chips that that's going to have an adverse impact on what we can do. Hmm. I don't know. That's a, a mystery. And you know how mysteries make me feel. Nervous and sweaty. Oh, that's how you get this one. Okay, hang on. Oh, okay. I see. Let's, uh... Sending it left down like that is not really going to do any good, but maybe... Let's just continue cloning a couple at a time and see what we can do with that. If I can clone a few more... I don't know if that's really going to help in any way, but I'm just getting rid of bombs just to clear the, the area up a bit and make the level more open. I think that's generally helpful here. Okay, here we go. I can go here. Okay, where does this lead? It's going to go there and there. Okay, so I need three. That's interesting. I like that. This is a, a really well-oiled level, like in terms of just the uh, the way it's laid out and how you uncover stuff. I'm always impressed when a, when a level that's very specifically laid out can accomplish something like that. Okay, so here I can clone at least two. At least two more. Uh, and apparently we can keep going. Well, that's good news. Do those. Alright, so we can do another couple there.
That is good news. Okay, that's about as... wait a minute. I can go up there. Let's uh, clone one more with this one. I'm wondering how I get that ship there right below me. That's going to be an interesting one to figure out. Okay, so now I can get in here. Just make sure I see what I'm doing here. So just two on this one. And that's it. Okay. So I can send one off that way, and then that should allow access to that chip on the left. Which is exciting. Quite exciting, actually. So now I'm down to three, and the clock is ticking. I'm nervous about that. Another level that could have benefited from a higher time limit. Let's see. How do I get to that, though? That's the one that I'm bothered by. Wait a minute. I haven't done anything with this, have I? Where does this go? Oh, just over here. Okay, well, that's no good. Let's focus on this side. We haven't done anything. Well, I shouldn't say that. We have done some stuff here. Okay. We only have like two minutes here, so we gotta book it. I wish this didn't have such a strict time limit. Alright, so that's just going to go in a circle at that point. Okay, how do I get these other two? That's the thing. I don't get the other two. I don't want to use the clone machine on the right, because that's just going to spam clone. Yeah, the one over here... This one is bothering me a lot, and I feel like I'm missing something with respect to getting stuff in there. Yeah, I don't see what you're supposed to do with that. That's... That is a giant question mark. We haven't played with this one yet, have we? I don't like the fact that you have to do all this backtracking just to look at what you're doing. Oh, this is how you get to the, the one with the chips there. Okay. Okay, that's good news. Except we didn't actually do that. Um, one more. I don't want to press that because that's just going to clone one that will hit a button, which is not what we want. Okay. So. Yeah. Still don't know the what's going on with this. And we're out of time. This lower left one. This lower left one is bothering me. And I don't see, unless there was a chip that I've removed... That would have taken care of that. I don't see how I can do anything about that. I think this is the Let's Play on which I've run out of time on more levels than any other. I really hope an update to this set gets released with increased time limits. Because this set is too good for these levels to be undercut by time limits that are just not very friendly.
Yeah, part of what makes this rather challenging is that you, you're you specifically... No! I forgot I had to reuse that. Like, you're specifically having to deduce what's actually useful here. Okay, we got one, two, three, four. Let's try to speed this up a bit without getting too careless about it. Wait a minute, uh-oh. Okay, good. Bam. Okay. Wait, I need... No, I don't, I don't actually need one more. In fact, I want to avoid one more if I can. So we have one, two, three. Wait a minute. Was I supposed to clone a fourth one on there? Maybe I was. Let's try cloning four. I can't remember if I did this before or not. Maybe I did it. Maybe I did do this before. Okay, so that's where we have this now. Okay, so I've cleared out a path to this other side. This this part at least we've taken care of. Oh wait, except we didn't. Forgot to grab that. A few seconds wasted there. Okay. Now the question is do I need to send another one out just to clear more? I don't think we really experimented with this earlier or looked back at this. That's it. That's how you do it. That's what we were missing. I feel so silly now. Okay. Let's go ahead and start going this way. I think part of what made this kind of a little deceptive was I saw the trap button and I kind of associated that with what would be coming up if I were to do that when in reality that actually wasn't the case. So here's my thoughts on this. I like this level a lot, but the one thing I'm a little worried about is I fear, like this kind of has the opposite problem of hot shots for me where it's like, I fear that collisions could end up kind of un undercutting this a bit as far as like what you can do and whatnot. Oh wait, I need to send one more here. And I, that's more of a minor complaint than anything else. I mean, that's just kind of the nature of the beast, I suppose. I mean, you can't really help that. Okay, how do I get that one again? Or these two again, I should say? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to leave myself some leeway just in case I mess up. But like, at the same time, I also want to get all I can uncovered. Yeah, these two cloners, I feel like we've done everything we can do with these. And that one. So let me go back this way and see what more we can do on this side, because this is the side that I've kind of left for last in a lot of ways. Oh wait, I accidentally sent one down. 
Don't want to do that again. Okay. So that's enough to do this, but that still doesn't solve our problems with everything down here. Oh wait, this is what we need. That's what we need, okay. So what is the key to getting this? I did this before, right? I'm trying to remember this one. How do you get in there? That's interesting. So that cloner is pretty much exhausted. This one is pretty much exhausted. Is there one down here that I'm just forgetting all about? There probably is. There's this one, but I don't see how this is helpful because that's just going to end up at one of the buttons. Yeah. There's this one over here that we've been using to facilitate getting stuff over here, but I don't see how that's helpful either. That Like, that's going to run out of, of uses too. I hope I didn't get a chip that I wasn't supposed to get. Like, that would be rather unfortunate if that were the case. Oh wait, is it this? It might be this. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. There we go, finally. That was really neat. I love the way it, it kind of felt in some ways like a an extension of a level like nitroglycerin, but with more interesting like pathing. I, I think it was really neat. Um, like I said, the only thing I'm worried about is collisions, maybe undercutting some of the actual puzzle that is set up, but I mean, that's just kind of something you have to deal with, and that doesn't make the puzzle um, any less interesting on its own, so I really enjoyed that. Tornado Alley. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. This is that one level by Josh called Restricted Area, some, like some number north, I think. That was the way it, it was... Uh, laid out I don't know if like each of these things is its own puzzle or something or what we're supposed to be doing here like what is the what is the objective what are we trying to accomplish with everything here I mean right off the bat the Sokoban kind of looks like... Let's see, I can do that. Okay, now I can get in here. Did that do anything? No clue. But I'm wondering if there's like all these re recessed wall things and what you're ultimately supposed to do is solve a puzzle in each area and then um, you're free to go after that like there's kind of a non-linearity to it basically I don't know if that's actually the case or not okay I'm assuming we're supposed to partial post this this that would make sense I don't see anywhere else to push these So far I'm liking the the way the aesthetic of this is adding to the flavor of the level. Like the everything about this just has a very interesting feel. Okay, there we go. So now I can go here, grab that, and I can get this red key, which I can use to get back. Okay, so I think it is what I'm thinking, which is that you can gain access to each area and then exit via the red door for that area. So like that would be the exit for that. So let's start going through here. Um, well, first things first, am I supposed to, how am I supposed to get up there? Am I supposed to go
I feel like I'm supposed to do something like this. No idea if that's right or not, but I see we have a red key. And I can use that to get in here. Okay, what am I doing here? Okay, that's our path to blue. So let's do that. I can get blue right now. Do I want to, though? I think the answer is yes. I'm just looking here to see if there's some other method that you would need. I'm not seeing one, which is kind of encouraging. So... I think I'm kind of supposed to do sort of kill two birds with one stone here. Go through here first, then do this, then do that. And then I think I need to do something similar with the next the next block here. Where I can do this. So here, okay, what am I getting out of going there? I don't actually see it. So I can instantly get the blue key here, so I'm going to do it, because that's going to be our ticket to getting this block out. I hope I did this correctly. I really hope I did. Because this seemed to be very specific in how you order this. And that's a, a really good uh, a good thing from a design perspective for a puzzle like this. Okay. Yeah, the way that the maze elements of this level are used is very interesting. Because like, I think in the original level there was blocks and there was walkers that were the aesthetic. But in this level there's... The thin walls are kept, but the sockets are what's added, and I like it. It's very distinct. Alright, I guess we're going in here next. Um, I am legitimately worried that I'm going to fail somehow, so... I think, though, what I need to do is start... So... This block, I have to use the, the the recessed wall in that one. Like, I don't think there's any way around that. So my question is, what do I actually start with in that case? Because if I push this to the right, and then I have to push this to the right, does that really do anything? And I think the answer is yes, because, yeah, I, I, I see how you can do it. You can go around like this, and I kind of want to avoid... Oh my gosh, this is a mess. Am I going to have to do this for every one of these? Alright. I'm preparing myself for the possibility that I'm going to have to do, my, do this for every one of these. So basically, what I'm thinking here is I go up, I push this to the left, right? I go up with this one, and then I have to backtrack all the way around with one of these other paths. I think that's how you do it. So let's give that a shot. Because I'm going to have to do that again, aren't I? I hope I didn't waste a path. Did I waste a path? Oh no. I'm I'm sorry to fear that I did. Was there a way to like handle that first part more optimally than the way I did it? Let me just do what I need to do here and we can figure that out. Okay, I don't know what going up does. 
but I don't trust it. Yeah, I would need to f have blown up everything to fully use that. So maybe I'm... Am I actually supposed to do that at the end of everything? I guess so. Alright, well, let's start over again. I'm going to do this room first because this is the one that's giving us problems right now. So, how do you handle this? That's the question, isn't it? So now that I know that you need to kind of approach it the other way... Um, without going through... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on, I just noticed something. I can slip through here. Okay, that's got to be important. That has to be, right? I refuse to believe that that's not important. That, that's got to be important. I still think what I did was correct, though. Like, I don't see, as far as how I started it. Because I don't see any other way you can really do this. But maybe there is? I'm just going to try something real quick. Let's do this and then do that again. Because now that I've opened that up, maybe that was what I was missing. I bet that's it. Yeah, I think this is actually it. I was being really silly with this. I didn't realize that there was an extra path that you could take there. That's cool. I like that room. That kind of reminds me a little bit of... Um, what was the name of that one Josh level? It was the World Negative One or whatever it was from uh, Walls of CCLP3. It kind of reminds me a bit of that. All right, I'm going to go to a room that we have not been to yet. If that even exists. I, maybe we've been to all of them now. Yeah, because there's three rooms. There's three rooms, right? Yeah, pretty sure we've been to all of them. So let's just quickly do this and we should be good to go and on our way. Yeah, this level, so far, I'm going to just say it right now, this level is one of my favorites in the set. I, I think it's got a really interesting vibe. It, it, it just has a lot of personality. And I know that's kind of a... That's one of those things that's very subjective. But, I don't know, there's just something about the way it feels that's very intentionally done. Um, and it really just stands out. And I, I really appreciate that a lot. So one thing that's been on my mind while we're doing this um, about level design is where do we go after CCLP5? Uh, this is yet another one of those potential podcast discussion topics. Because um, at the end of the day, you know, I, I feel like every time a CCLP comes out, there's usually kind of a response wave to it. And I would say the only exception I've seen to that potentially is CC2LP1, and I think that's possibly because CC2 itself is just kind of a kind of an odd duck in a lot of ways like we don't know if it's going to be updated um, or anything of the sort and so it, there's just a lot of uncertainty around it and I think that's kind of discouraged people away from designing levels for it as well um, so yeah it's it's just kind of hard to tell what's gonna what's gonna really happen I really like this room. The, this room is just... It's just cool. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of those things where, you know, the more I think about CCLP5, I can see some, you know, potential responses to it. Like, hey, you know, maybe there's going to be a... Um, a group of level designers that really get inspired to push the boundaries in terms of difficulty and you know the sorts of things you do with levels after CCLP5 comes out you know that's 
something we've seen before with CCLP2. You know, it, 3 was certainly brought about partially by that um, desire to see more done. Um, and then in response to 3, we got 1, where things were a lot easier, you know, in terms of what people wanted to see and what that ended up turning into. I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Personally, though, I, I don't see another CCLP1 happening. I, I think um, the reactivity that CCLP3 brought about um, is something that I think can be mitigated by really good level design, which uh, I think we've kind of gotten to that point now. So I'm just really looking forward to it. Allogenic combustion. Okay, I'm not familiar with this. What is this? Okay, this looks really interesting. Um, okay, so that, that chip I cannot get. Like, I don't see any way around that. Neither can I get that. Very interesting. I'm curious if there are any extra chips in this. Okay, let's get to access to two of them here. This kind of reminds me a little bit of that one Archie P1 level called Overwhelming Chips. Kind of reminds me a bit of that. Except with bomb exploding and stuff, which I think is more interesting. So I'm just going to get everything I can and we'll see where things end up. Oh wait, I can't go through that. That's fine. We'll find a different way. I like the the very layered way that this all kind of comes together here. This is really interesting. Is this level the one from... Um, oh, what was it called? Encased Just In Case, I think was the name of it. It was a time trial level. And I feel like this would be about the right size for it. And it had a... I think it had a perfectly square layout like this. Okay. So far, so good. Let's go this way. I see we're going to need to spend quite a few blocks to get into that inner area there. We don't actually have many chips left. We only have 48, which doesn't feel like much, but maybe that actually is more in the grand scheme of things than I'm thinking. Yeah, I really like what was done with this. This is very interesting. So, assuming that this is Josh's level, which I think it is, there's only two by Jeffrey that I haven't really accounted for yet. The one based on Frozen Bloodbath and the one based on, um, oh, what was the other one? It was one of the later Josh L7 levels. But anyway, this has to be a Josh level at this point. Pretty sure it is. Okay, I really want to get in there. But I need to find a way to do it. I hope I haven't wasted too much here. This is fun. I like this. 
There's something really satisfying about just opening up the area like this. I know I say it a lot, but I love levels that feature like a sense of progression, whether that's in terms of exploring or... Oh, wait a minute. There's more chips up here. Can we get these? Like... Without having to worry about the, the limit? We might be able to, actually. I think we might be able to. It's just a matter of figuring out which ones are worth the, the trip. Let's focus on here. I think this is the best entry point. We, we have more room here. This would be a really interesting one to optimize. I'm kind of curious if the amount of chips that you have to collect is the same as in the original. Because I want to say that level did not require you to get all the chips. Or wait, maybe it did. I could be wrong on that. But anyway, that was Allogenic Combustion. That was fun. I liked that one. Chip's Slightly Intoxicated Teeth Escorting Guide. Okay, I do happen to know which um, level this is uh, using the walls of, and it's not one of the uh, sets that's been um, up for wall renovations. It's uh, This is the level from Josh L2 that Jeffrey used, and it's What's Rightfully Mine. Which is, a uh... Wait, was it Josh L2? It may have been 3. Come to think of it. I forget which it was. So my question here is, can I get you... There we go. That's what I wanted. So now that that's there... Do I have to, like, strictly stay on the path? I have to assume no, just because I have to get off to do this section, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, wait, I was supposed to take the teeth while the fireball was in its new path, wasn't I? Okay, that first part isn't so bad, and I'm glad it's at the beginning. Okay, let's just... Yeah, there we go. Teeth, why did you have to hit the button at the same time that the fireball did? That was not cool. Okay. There we go. Really? Come on. This is not that hard. Or is it? Mm, mm, mm. There we go. So my question here is, do I want the teeth to go down into those... I, I think I have to. Okay, there we go. That's interesting. I like that. Uh-oh. I might have wanted to keep the teeth more at bay before doing this section. <laughs> but we'll try to manage it. Come on. There we go. kind of reminds me of going through Grand Prix Danger Circuit again. Okay, now how am I supposed to get you? Am I just supposed to race this? I think I'm supposed to just race in there. There we go. Alright, so now...
Okay, I don't know what was supposed to happen there. Um, so let me just look at this while I have this window up like this. So this had a wall. The, the, this had a thin wall that got erased because of the layering thing where it, you can only display two layers. So the the teeth goes here, right? Or the fireballs go come from here. And ultimately I'm trying to get that blown up. So my gut tells me that I just need to hide the teeth away. That might be a simplistic interpretation of what's going on here, but I'm going to run with that initially and see where we go with it. There we go. That wasn't really that bad. I like the fact that there's two uh, clones that you have to do there. Oh, I do have to do this with the teeth here. Because the, the force floor is there, right? I don't think there's a way to avoid that. Yeah, this is definitely a tricky one. A little fiddly, but not that bad. I, I think it's pretty doable. Thankfully, this, this section here is pretty fun. I like this section a lot. What? Was I just hitting the button on, on the wrong step there? That was really weird. I can't quite... No, okay, good. No! That was not great timing. That was not the timing I wanted there. Okay. Come on, Teethy. Let's get inside here. Okay, we did well. For some reason, I have such a weird issue with that area there. Okay, that's this is not the what I was hoping would happen here, but there we go. That toggle parody there is just really awkward sometimes. All right, sorry I'm not saying much. I'm just trying to concentrate here. Okay, so for this, I just need to get you here. And then get you in here. Okay, this feels very unsafe, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I was worried about. I'm a little concerned. I don't get what you're supposed to do, per se. I mean, obviously, the danger here is that you're, you're trying not to let the teeth drown, right? So, it seems like what you're supposed to do is let the teeth stay here, but I don't know if, if that's possible to do just by going around. Or if there's more to it than that. 
I mean, well, let's try it again. It, it, this is hard for me to visualize without doing it. That's one of the main issues I've been having with these levels is that there's a lot of things that are much easier to do in something like Super CC than the actual game, which it's not as bad as some levels I've seen, but I can't deny that that's there sometimes. And it's not like super terrible, but it happens at, at times and sometimes the, the best antidote to, do, to that is just to experiment and just try your best. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, there. The problem with this, though, is that um, the bomb doesn't blow up. And this rhythm is not allowing for this to really be of any value here. What are, I'm wondering what the hints there say. Alright, I got a skip level prompt there. Sorry this is taking so long, everybody. I, I'm just not good at dodging. Like, I've kind of just come to accept that. Like, if there's an optimization element to it where I can introduce predictability into the dodging, that's one thing. But, like, like here, if I can learn the patterns enough and work with that, then it becomes a lot easier. So, for this, for instance... Maybe the key to this is just to keep the teeth on the button initially, and then to send it on its way into the alcove. Let's try that. I think that might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. I kind of wish that wasn't so reliant on seeing everything. Like, or not seeing everything. Unfortunately, the teeth home was even more perilous than the journey. Well, um, I guess he uh, blew himself up, so that has to be true, right? Alright, everybody, next time we're going to start with Mercurial. But we're going to do that in the next video. So take care, and I will see you then. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.